My name is Aishan Hutchinson, and this poem is called After the Hurricane. After the Hurricane. After the hurricane walks a silence, deranged, white as the white helmets of government surveyors, looking into roofless shacks, assessing stun fouls, noting inquiries into the logic of feathers, reversed like gullies still retching. They scribble facts about fallen cedars, spread out like dead generals on leaf medallions. They draw tables to show the shore as rearrange its idea of beauty for the resort villas, miraculously not rattled by the hurricanes, call it cyclops, passage through the lives of children and pigs. The one eye that unhooked banjos from the hills, smashed them in Rio Valley. They record how it howled off to that dark parish St. Thomas, stumping drunk with wire lashes and cramps, paralyzing electric poles and coconut trees, dishing discord among neighbors exposed, standing among their flattened, scattered lives for the first time. It passed through Aunt May's head, upsetting the furniture, left her chattering, something a cross between a fowl and a child. They can't say how it tore down her senses, no words, packing their instruments, flies returning to genuflect at their knees on Aunt May's face, gone soft, no words, except don't fret, driving off, as if they had left better promises to come. This poem deals with the aftermath of a natural disaster in the rural section of Jamaica, in the eastern area of the island, a landscape that still uh, has present on it the wreckage of plantation slavery. There you find the, the canes still being grown, harvested, and made into sugar. So that violent activity is still pretty much present and forms a large part of the livelihood of people. So the poem is trying to understand what it means to live with and through um, the collision of a natural disaster as the hurricane and the disaster, the imperial disaster of um, plantation slavery. What does it mean to live through and survive this double apocalypse?